Hey everybody, Pat Palmer, the computer guy here from Hampton, Iowa, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about uninstalling Internet Explorer 10. In the last couple of weeks I've discovered that there have been many, many people who just had problems with it. It's buggy. Uh, when you're using your mobile hotspot, it doesn't seem to work right. There's no connection available. Pages aren't displayed. And just an overall bugginess of the of the program for those of you who are still using Internet Explorer products. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be rolling Internet Explorer 10 back to Internet Explorer 9, and which is a little bit more of a stable product as far as Internet Explorer uh, family goes. What we need to do is go to our Programs and Features area here under the Control Panel. And as you can see in the list of programs I have, uh, there's no... Um, there's no Microsoft Internet Explorer that's listed under the programs anymore. What they've done is they've uh, included this under Updates. So we go to View Installed Updates. And this may take a moment or two to load up, but uh, it's going to be found underneath the Windows Updates. If you just scroll down uh, to the Internet Explorer uh, 10 update here, underneath Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows, and what we're going to do here is we're going to just hit the uninstall button and this will uh, uninstall Internet Explorer 10 it will roll it back to Internet Explorer 9 it will have you reboot the computer configure some updates and then when you boot the computer back up it will be back to Internet Explorer 9 so like I said it, it's been buggy for some people some people it's worked great I know in some office settings uh, some of the software has not been uh, really written yet for Internet Explorer 10 and it does uh, come automatically now with some Windows updates and so that's kind of hung some people up on, on that. So for those of you who still use the Internet Explorer products, uh, we want to see about rolling that back to Internet Explorer 9. Of course, just click on Internet Explorer 10 and uninstall and you should be good to go. And for those of you who uh, want to try something else, maybe uh, uh, Google Chrome or uh, Firefox or Safari might be your choice as well too. But I do know that some businesses I work with still use the Internet Explorer family of, of products. So uh, that's how you do it. should take care of itself after you uninstall it and reboot. You'll be good to go. Again, Pat Palmer, the computer guy from Hampton, Iowa.